NA1SS, this is WH6PN calling for a scheduled contact. Do you copy? Over. NA1SS, this is WH6PN calling for a scheduled contact. Do you copy? Over. NAS, NA1SS, um, we hear you clap out loud and clear. Go ahead, Prairie Land. Hi, Th this is Joey. How do you work out in space, and what do you have to do to stay fit? Over. Uh, first of all, welcome aboard the International Space Station. It's great to talk to you guys. I'm really glad uh, to be able to talk to you today. And Joey, thanks for the question. Uh, we work similarly on the space station as we do anywhere else, but. You can take advantage of zero gravity here and float to any orientation or position, so that's uh, really helpful. Um, for spacewalking, we also have special tools we can use to hold us in place and to tether other equipment. Uh, for exercise, it's really important up here because otherwise we lose our muscle mass very quickly. Uh, we have uh, the treadmill, we have a couple of uh, stationary bicycles, and we have sort of a cable machine which we can use for weightlifting. How often do you get to talk to your family? Over. We have an uh, internet phone basically up here, so uh, we can call as long as we have satellite coverage, we're able to call. So the uh, main thing is just having the time to do that. And we have a video conference once a week, so we get to see our family and, and talk uh, on video once a week, which is great. Are you an artist and have you ever drawn any pictures of Earth? Over. I'm not much of an artist uh, in that sense, but I like photography, and uh, one of the great hobbies up here is taking pictures of the Earth, so we really get, it, get into that. So um, and today, in fact, we've taken some amazing pictures of Antarctica, where we can see the uh, ice, ice breaking up and see the formation of icebergs, so uh, photography is a great hobby up here. What is the coolest part of being an astronaut? Over. Actually, I think the coolest part is being able to share this experience um, of being up here with so many other people, uh, to see other people get excited and to be in a position where we can uh, bring that enthusiasm to the surface of people. It's, it's really a great feeling. Are you having a good day in Space Station? Over. Uh, today has been a great day. Uh, actually, today is a bit of a day off, and that means um, we have some time for some personal projects and uh, some relaxation. Since we're Troop 17 and you're Expedition 17, can we trade patches? Over. You bet. Uh, that's for sure. It'd be great to do that. I'd be happy. It'd be my honor to do that. How much free time do you get and what do you like to do in your free time? Over. Oh, we get some free time off on the weekends. Um, we, ha we still have things scheduled. We have uh, housekeeping tasks, basically cleaning things. But one thing we do on the weekends is we do some extra science. We call it Saturday Science, and uh, it's a great opportunity to get more more science done. And uh, we also get together and we watch the movies. Uh, we're going to do that tonight. Um, occasionally, we play. Some, I play some music with a guitar up here. What do you like to do in your leisure time? Uh, like I said, uh, you know, play some music and uh, watch the movies. Um, um, talk on the phone. But um, also we're playing some uh, games of chess against all the different control centers, so that's been a lot of fun. Is being an astronaut what you thought it would be when you first applied? Over. Actually, it's much more than I thought it would be. Uh, but we're not flying in space. We spend most of our time supporting other missions, and that involves a lot of work with other countries and space programs around the world. So uh, it's been great uh, uh, opportunity to travel and meet other, meet other people and cultures. Um, and also, it's just, in this job, we get to be learning all the time, new things all the time, and that's a really great thing about this job, is uh, that opportunity. It's like we're in school all the time. Have you gone on a spacewalk? And if so, what was the best part? Over. Over. Uh, actually, I have not done that. I'm hoping to. I'm still, still uh, hoping for an opportunity before this mission is over, but uh, imagine it would be really amazing if you can't do that. Does your stomach get upset in space? Over. Actually, only for the first few days. Um, your body is, uh, the human body is amazingly adaptable. Um, you know, within a few hours, uh, you start to feel better, and within a couple of days, you, uh, you feel perfectly normal, and then it feels great to be up here. Actually, the adaptation going back 
uh, the gravity is probably going to be a lot harder. That takes uh, that takes many weeks. Does your cell phone work in space? Over. No, it sure doesn't. Uh, but what we have, instead, what we have is the phone connection, basically using the satellites, uh, the tracking data relay satellites. We use those uh, to send um, phone signals, also video. Uh, the ground can uh, see what's going on up here constantly with video cameras inside and outside the space station. And uh, through these satellites, uh, we can uh, basically uh, have phone calls uh, to wherever we want to call. Do you have trouble sleeping? Over. The uh, sleeping up here is wonderful. I love sleeping. Um, you know, you're floating the whole time. You're never uncomfortable. You don't get twisted up in the sheets. Um, you know, it's, it's, it couldn't be more comfortable. You, you fall asleep and you just wake up in the same position. Um, it's so, sleep, sleeping up here is something I'm really going to miss. It's wonderful. What sports do you play back on Earth? Over. Uh, I love to play racquetball and um, other racket sports. Um, and I used to play hockey. Do you ever get to eat real food like on Earth? Over. Yeah, the food up here is great, actually. Uh, there's a great selection. Uh, we've come a very long way since the early uh, space flight days. And, um, so we have, uh, uh, and most of it is dehydrated or freeze dried, kind of like you know camping food you would take on a backpacking trip. But um, there's a lot of variety, and it's really good. When do you think we will put a man on Mars, and would you like to go? Over. I would love to go. It's always been a dream of mine to go to Mars. Uh, but I think it's going to be another 20 years or so before that will happen, and so maybe it's the perfect time for you guys to go. Will you dream about floating in space when you come back to Earth? Over. Yeah, I hope so. Um, I always used to dream about flying. Uh, now I get to have that experience of floating and flying up here every day, so uh, uh, I, I hope that somehow in my dreams I'll remember what it's like to be up here and feel like I'm still flying. Well, kind of hands, it's time for you to say a group um, thank you. Everybody, thank, thank you! you. This is W86PN, Honolulu, Blues, uh, 73, and Aloha. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've shared a moment of history. Amateur radio station, W86PN. Congratulations to all the scouts on doing an excellent job today.